I like you to lift your voice in one minute and cry to the God of heaven, visit me tonight. Give me an encounter we're praying by the Spirit of the Lord. Move upon my life. Reveal your power once again. Someone is praying. Either to you have asked for nothing, ask that you will receive, that your joy may be complete. For everyone that asketh, receiveth. Ye have not, because ye ask not. Hallelujah. Blessings to you. Please be seated. I welcome you to our miracle service for the month of May. We dedicate one of the days every month to just allow the Spirit of God visit His people. We believe in miracles. We're a ministry of signs and of wonders. We believe that the power of God is able to provide supernatural solutions to the needs of men. The God that we serve is not a theoretical God. He is able to make Himself real, make Himself alive in our midst hallelujah very quickly a charge before we get into the ministration we have to discern what miracles are about you know many times when we encounter the power of god we get healed we get blessed but we are unable to sustain that experience because miracles more than supernatural acts come with messages and we must discern what God is saying very quickly. We must learn to discern miracles, not only to receive them, but to discern miracles. Number one, miracles are a revelation and a confirmation of the Father's love. Revealed in and through Jesus Christ. You must understand this. Every time you see a miracle, a supernatural manifestation of the hand of God upon a life, a people, whether it comes as a healing miracle, whether it comes as deliverance, whether it comes as breakthroughs, open doors, financial miracles, liftings of all sorts, the first message behind a genuine miracle is the love of God. The apostle said the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, he called it the love of God. And even the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. He says to abide with us now and forever. Jeremiah 31 and verse 3. Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 3. God is unashamed about his love. Here's what he says. The Lord hath appeared of old unto me saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn you. If we celebrate miracles and they do not draw us to understand the love of Jesus, then we failed to discern the miracles. Are we together? The first revelation behind miracles is not just that the man of God who was used is powerful. It's not just that God is powerful, but that God is love. And the character of love, John 3, 16, is that it gives. For God so loved the world that he gave. His one and only begotten son is not the only thing he has given. He that did not spare his son, the Bible says, but offered him, will he not much more with him? So it's not only his son he gave alone. There are many other things. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. There are benefits. Jesus is the highest of the object, if I would use that expression, of the love of the Father, but he's not the only expression. He 
his many kindness, mercies, breakthroughs, liftings, favors. These are expressions of his love. In a few minutes now, we're going to be celebrating the hand of God, healing people, delivering people, lifting people. But in the midst of that, more than Koinonia, more than Joshua Selman, see Jesus speaking to you. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Are we together? Romans chapter 8 and verse 35. Paul was speaking and he said, Who shall separate us? Or what shall separate us from the love of God? He begins to list several things. Shall tribulation or distress or persecution. You know why he's saying this? Look at me. Every time we are plagued on every side, whether financially, whether in our health or whatever it is, these things have a way of speaking speak into our lives if god truly loves you why should he watch a family go through this if god truly loves you why should he allow your political career nose dive why the barrenness satan is expert he knows how to use negative situations and circumstances to speak to the saints spiting the love and the integrity of jesus so he says what shall separate us from the love of god shall tribulation or distress persecution or famine nakedness or peril or sword and then he says for your sake we are killed we are counted for this and that and next verse says it says nay nay in the midst of this in all these things we are more than conquerors not just by enduring them but by triumphing over them you are not just a conqueror when you endure pain and hardship. You are a conqueror when you triumph over it. Now, thanks be to God, which causes us always to triumph. Are we together? In Ephesians chapter 3, from verse 18, Paul was mentoring the church in Ephesus. And he had this to say to them, that they may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, the length, the depth, the height, 19, and to know the love of Christ. The Bible says that love surpasses the realm of knowledge are we together the love of jesus the epistle of john first john chapter 3 and verse 1 john the apostle said behold what manner of love look at the extent of love the father had bestowed upon us that we should be called sons of god behold what manner of love so when he heals when he delivers when he opens closed doors when he opens closed wombs when he promotes when he silences the voice of evil men speaking over your destiny when he overrides the naysayings of ill speakers in it he's saying i love you the message is my love more than signs more than wonders there's something about the love the revelation of the love of jesus when you are aware that he loves you it does something to you it takes away fear because perfect love casts out fear the moment you do not dwell in the love of jesus you are afraid could it be god's will that i'm going through this could it be god's will he does he find joy watching me go through this pain but when you know that he loves you he loves you means that he defends your interest he loves you means he insists until your life becomes a reflection of his glory there are implications to love love is not an empty word love has consequences it's risky to be in love there are consequences when you love you give when you love you sacrifice when you love you defend when you love you promote so when God says, I love you, he places his reputation on the line. I love you means I can go so far to defend you. I love you means I can go so far to protect you. I believe in the love of Jesus. If there's one person I believe is loved by the Father, I can tell you, I believe I am the one. Oh yes, he loves me.
so miracles reveal the love of Jesus you walk confident knowing that this one who is God ancient of days minister Dunsin calls him Yah is also my father and the lover of my soul committed to protecting me committed to seeing that no matter what comes my way eventually my life will sing his praises it's a powerful revelation he says for we know that all things all things work together for the good of not Christians them that love the Lord and those who are the called according to his purpose once there is love there here's one more information about love love never fails say it please one more time business people here's a correct formula add it to your understanding of business I think everybody wants something that does not fail there are strategies that we say never fail there are people we say never fail but the Lord is teaching us anything that is failing in your life add love to it you have changed the equation love never fails love never fails why because God is love love never fails so when I dwell in love I am secured because I can never fail as you lift your crutch as you lift your wheelchair as your eyes open as your ears open as God restores finances supernaturally as God gives a job as God opens up doors as God connects you to your destiny helpers as God opens up your political career your business remember there are messages in those miracles so whilst you thank him for doing that thank him also for revealing his love Jesus I see the handwriting of your love in my promotion I'm still interested in you in my lifting you're a man of God here when God brings increase multiplication to you he's saying I love you when God supplies for your needs he's saying I love you are we together the love of Jesus is very powerful there are people tonight who will be saved who have never met Jesus Christ others will rededicate their lives to Jesus is a proof of his love looks like a simple message but it's powerful the absence of the awareness of the love of Jesus Christ will give room for all kinds of oppression are we blessed the second revelation very quickly miracles reveal the Lordship and the power of God miracles reveal the Lordship the Lordship Psalms 24 and verse 1 says the earth is the Lord it lists four things and it says it belongs to God Psalms 24 and verse 1 the earth is the Lord's number two the fullness of that earth that means the resources pay attention the earth the physical territory is the Lord's the fullness you can rent a house the house is the landlord's but what is inside can be your own so just because you the landlord has the house does not mean he has what is in the house so please keep that scripture there let me explain something here the Bible is taking time to explain everything that is God's own on earth so that you find out when Satan says something is mine you verify from this list and ask him where did that come from so the earth is the Lord's the earth means the rocks the wind so if he's using it for an enchantment against you you have a right to say based on what the earth the elements the elements are the Lord's so when you use a stone 
or a rock or water or any enchantments against me you are making a mistake because the, i know the owner there is a relationship there is an understanding between me and the owner get what i'm telling you you have to understand this the earth is the lord's this is a manifesto here number two the fullness this earth is full of there are resources it says out of the earth comes bread the fullness the resources the natural resources this does not just mean the resources alone the opportunities that are in that place belong to god many of you do not know the older the, you don't know that opportunities are commodity in the spirit opportunities are access for a new season there is someone who holds it like opportunity like holding a card an atm card he can give men the fullness thereof the walls and then them if he owned the earth the fullness the walls and he did not own them we will still be in trouble because the them that are in the earth this human species they are the real source of most of this trouble so we need to know if he also has control over those men because there are men who are gatekeepers they can sit down and say nobody from this family will get a job they would have been right except for the fact that there is one called the father of spirits do you know what that means every spirit on earth is subject to his beck and call when he calls you you must hear him ask pharaoh what came upon him after 430 years that charm like effect on pharaoh he got up and said take gold take silver it was a miracle enough to let them go but god said let me show you that just because you own a space in my property the earth is the lord's and he commanded pharaoh and pharaoh gave the resources and them that dwell there in him oh. miracles validate that jesus is lord the lordship lordship means he's his owner you will never get a job in abuja you will never get a contract you will never get that political position there is a way we do it you may be right but don't let the lord speak because when he speaks let me tell you this he is able to overturn anything you say before he speaks you are wasting your time because when he speaks if one plus one is supposed to be two it is two only when god has not spoken one plus one plus god is equal to the answer he puts there whatever he puts there he can make one plus one plus him equal to one million because he's called i am so your small efforts plus your little or no connection now you are adding god to it this night you wait and see what the answer becomes oh yes sir oh that warm jacob weak person yes you are weak yes from a weak family but add god to that equation and watch what the answer becomes the lordship of jesus revealed through signs and wonders you don't clap for people when things happen naturally do you clap for me for walking it is natural to walk why should you clap when i'm walking is human to walk but when an agency lifts me beyond that which is affordable as far as the world of men is concerned then he is glorified many of you by the power of the holy spirit this night the holy ghost will pick you on a flight <laughs> and distinguish you in a way that by the time you return when men are saying what happened you will also join them and say honestly if i tell you i know the entire calculation i will be lying the only thing i know is that in the midst of my effort my confusion and whatever god stepped in and changed the answer you know 
we just finished a series on the mysteries of the kingdom so we are not ignorant people we understand the laws of the spirit however in the dealings of God there is space for his sovereignty he can choose he can choose as an act of his sovereignty to veto whatever is happening or not happening and just say I have decided that in this family I have come to them and he will lift you God is able to do that listen 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 principles are powerful and will continue to honor principles but whilst you honor principles keep a space in your mind that the God we are talking about is not a robot El Shaddai listen let me tell you how powerful God is this may be the road to your miracle the road to your result are we together now and others are following it you may follow this sincerely believing you are right God will take that thing and bring it here to make sure that you get it right he does not only lead you to the right place he can bring the right place to you listen when the Bible says for we know I hope you know when you miss a road you are in trouble you are in trouble because of the destination there are times God moves you to the destination but there are times he moves the destination to you he's still the same God I believe this about him because many of you already if God is to turn you back from where you are it will take another five years to catch up with where you should be so he will take it whatever you would have met he will come and put it this is what speed is about this is what restoration is about the Lordship one more time we need to let this our arrogant earth know that jesus is still lord because sometimes just because he's quiet men make a lot of boastful statement politically economically when a great man keeps quiet you should find out why so god keeps quiet for many years while people make noise and beat their chest and said over my dead body if anybody rises in this family and then one day god says are you done with your rubbish let me show you that I am God he will pick the weakest and lift that person you will not even know while you are rising you'll be finding out as you rise because you are not sure you see when others are clapping and say I know how I came here for you your only answer will be your knees to say Lord I can't say I truly understand how this happened I only know I started and then I was preached by the wind of the spirit Listen, this is how some of us got here. There are questions we cannot answer. We replace the answer with yeah. Every time we are confused. How did you rise like this? I just know that I believe scripture, but there is a, there is, there is a complicated calculation that I do not know. Woe betides a man who can explain everything about his lifting. It's not God that lifted you. Whether political, there must be a gap that only the size of God can fill in your story. There must be, if it's God, no matter how you calculate it, there must be a space where you will tell people honestly, this is where I stop. I don't know how this one happened. He does it like that so that men will fear him. The sovereignty of God should not replace our loyalty to principles. But let me tell you this. The best of us in obeying these principles will still default because we are humans. So while he's watching you, he's, he's 
power is trailing you and when he looks at you and he sees that time is going and the unit of destiny is time he will say son let me pick you and this is how he will carry you let me speak to someone this night already in the name of jesus who is the lifter of men i decree and declare in no time your world will look at you with shock and wonder may the lifter of men lift you may the lifter of men lift you please sit down we're going to pray shortly one area i know where only god can truly explain is the lifting of men there is a science to wealth and prosperity you can sit down and provide value here and there and then you just have resources but when it has to do with lifting the variables are many you can do everything right and you are ready for promotion and someone says because you are this tribe or this gender i had a problem with your father because he died since he's not around you are the one who will pay the price and god says who is who is who is attempting to be me there Do you believe what I'm sharing tonight? Because you see, sometimes believers become so afraid just because of the things men say. Oh, you won't rise. Oh, oh come on. We're talking God. Every one of us seated here, respectfully speaking, and I mean I do not mean to insult your pedigree in any way, but every one of us seated here was once a baby in the hands of a woman. None of us here is an ancient of days. Even Satan is older than us. But there is an ancient monarch. He's been sitting for a very long time. He has watched proud kings rise and fall. He has watched humble people from their lowly estate. He's lifted. He has watched this thing. He's seen poor people lifted in one day. He's seen men in Samaria say, if God opens his window, so when God says by tomorrow, Monday, you will return rejoicing. Be careful to not make the mistake that was made in Samaria. Listen to me. Believers, the God we serve is not a governor. The God we serve is not a president. Um, there's nothing wrong with this. The God we serve is not an ambassador of a place. The God we serve was not given land to occupy he was not voted into power the, you have to understand this about god the bible says in the beginning not from the beginning we don't even know what happened when moses was writing he said where do i start this from he just said in the beginning he couldn't have said from the beginning in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth where was he before he created them because he was not in the heavens he was not in the earth the word eternity means the summation of infinite dispensations we do not even know which one we are with respect to his blueprint the, the devil that you are talking about read your bible there was a time when he was not part of the equation This is how genuine Bible faith comes. When you take away your eyes, for as long as you keep looking at that cancer, you are going to see a legitimate medical report. You will see testimonies for as long as you look at that financial situation. The three uncles that will help you have vowed that it's better for them to die than help you. So already you know that nobody is coming to help you there. Then you come to God and God says, please, I have spoken once. I don't speak twice. Go and hear again. The monarch. I have watched how we celebrate kings on earth. I've had the honor and the privilege of meeting a few. And I am amazed at the skill and the energy that is invested. To force us to believe that they are great people 
some people can use the skill of a shout hail the king and they push and flog you away no matter who you are clear the way for the king whether it's Yoruba, Igbo or in the north here the emirate systems we watch the way we celebrate kings nothing matters when they are coming you get out of the way or they deal with you decisively and whilst the man is watching they fan him hail the king and he's smiling this is a human being no? not a spirit and we fan them and then he looks at people and says by tomorrow give these people rice and everybody is jumping because a man spoke that he will bless you they know he's rich they don't even know how much yet the man himself is still looking for money the man himself may still be having problems in his house but just with respect to what he has we celebrate before you receive from god find out who is talking to you find out who is saying i will bless you find out who is saying i will exalt you above the nations of the earth did he not know that visa is hard when he spoke did he not know that your loved ones may have gone and left you alone hebrews 11 and verse 6 he that cometh to him must come believing two things number one hebrews 11 verse 6 please give it to us that he is that means he exists some of you are yet to be sure this god is he really alive he wants to answer you tonight because you've been asking that thing for a long time number two he exists but he's also a rewarder he wraps himself in light and darkness tries to hide they tremble at his voice how great is our God will you sing with me how great Abraham come out of your father's house as a visionless idol worshiper in awe of the Chaldeans come I will make you great I will make your name great bless them that bless you cause them that cause you in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed and that farmer got up not knowing where he was going I believe you one step after another until he truly became the father of nations he met a little village girl called hadassah wondering what to make out of her life and she just heard that the king was looking for a queen and the uncle said you try who knows but while she was there other women were talking about what they thought would qualify them but she went to Haggai, the keeper of the king's virgins. He said, you know the king. What does he want? And he said, do you want me to tell you? There is an oil I will give you. Rub on your body for one year. After that, you go and stand. If it has to do with the king, it cannot be natural. Let this oil smear it on yourself. And yet there was a king who built a statue of 90 feet and said, when you hear what he pass, blow the trumpet, everybody bow. Worship me. And three Hebrew boys said, King, we are not lawless citizens. We only have a superior revelation. When it has to do with this matter, King, you are great, but you are a great man. And they made the fire sev seven times hotter. When they jumped into it, all of a sudden they saw four men. The appearance of the fourth was like the son of the living God. Were there not three people who were here? And they came out and because of that a decree was written. 
a king wanted to be god he turned into an animal a king wanted to be god he died and maggots came out immediately in his body god knows how to bring men down but god knows how to lift men up you can choose what group you want to belong to and let me tell you the formula you want him to bring you down the secret is pride be arrogant and refuse to acknowledge that he is the giver and he's the leader and then you he will know how to teach you a lesson there you want lifting there is a key to humble yourself to humble yourself means to acknowledge you are lifter every time i have the opportunity to thank to talk to the lord i i spend my time thanking him and say lord look what you can do with those who fear you with those who trust you with those who believe you for some of you i'm not wasting your time we're going to pray this is a word for you some of you you came here and you think you are just a number in the crowd but watch the god who lifts I don't know why the Holy Ghost is speaking about lifting this night. You hear me say it again. Lifting. Do you know what it means to lift? To take you above your current realm of existence. Above your current realm of realities. If you don't believe God is a lifter, you will really suffer in this life. Because remaining at the same level is dangerous. Everything that is alive grows. Lifter. God can lift he can change levels when it happens in our world we have all kinds of cliches we say ah Mr. Man you are no longer what you used to be oh you are now richer or better or whatever it is I've told you here we don't serve God because of all these things but to believe that he does not do them is another kind of falsehood you are not holier than the God who wants to lift and prosper forever our passion is to seek him for who he is not for money not for lifting but your heavenly father knows that you need these things if you don't know it he's informing you now that you need it you need financial resources brothers and sisters at greater levels you need lifting you need favor our world is surrounded by wicked people full of all kinds of prejudices there has to be a spiritual advantage it's one thing to have what to give but until the lifter lifts you the reason why all of you can see me is because this platform has lifted me i will never stop at this level i am nobody will preach me into believing it is the will of god to remain here no the path of the just is as a shining light it shines brighter and brighter you should not come and find me where you met me yesterday i shouldn't come and find you where i met you yesterday listen let me tell you this we're going to pray shortly there are territorial spirits that operate in our regions and their assignment is to make people look like the city have you seen people like that they go to school they do everything but the same way the zings are old the same way the buildings are old you go back to that city after 15 years you see what you saw as a baby it's still waiting for you there no growth and the city the spirits in those regions turn you to become like that let me tell you a testimony many years ago i was in this city and i took a cab and we got talking with the man true story the man was driving me and I engaged him in a conversation and he began to talk and he he said something that I thought was very interesting he said Oga that there is a spirit in this city that makes money not stay in the hands of people so that he went somewhere or so and someone gave him an advice that every time he receives money he should run out of Abuja and that now he has built a house it was not what he was saying I was saying ah so there is a spirit that can make you keep earning 500,000 every month and at the end of the year your life looks like yesterday it's a spirit 
a true church must preach Christ and the whole person of God, including his desire to empower men, including his desire to lift men, including his desire to bring acceleration. The only thing we need to do is to reprioritize our focus so that in the midst of it, Jesus is exalted above all. But to ignore these things in an attempt to say Jesus is above all is a costly mistake that we'll spend our lifetime paying for. But this night, the lifter wants to speak. The lifter wants to lift men. And when God talks of lifting, there are forces that make for lifting. One of them is humility. The other is favor. Favor can lift. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. Then verse 17. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Verse 17. The lifting power of favor and the king loved Esther above all the women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins so that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti are you ready to pray I made up my mind that I'm not the one who will stop any good thing God wants to do in my life. Lord, if you want to bless me, religion will not stop me from receiving it. If you choose to honor me, glory be to your name. My only vow is that in it you will be glorified and you will be seen. But to reject it because of foolishness and ignorance, I will not be part of that. Everything that comes from God is good, it is perfect. If it kills you, it mingled with flesh. It's not because it came from God. If money destroys you, it's not that money is bad. It's that your own renewed mind and your lack of surrender mixed with that money and it became something else that God did not give. There is nothing in itself that kills. The state of your heart is what makes any good thing kill. Prosperity does not destroy. Many people preach against prosperity, for instance, and yet they are looking for money. Yet they have needs. Yet they have children. We are not talking about self-aggrandizement. No. There are more important kingdom things. What of the lifting? Imagine that God lifts you now and you become captain over a parastatal. Imagine how many people will be blessed because of it you see the moment you are selfish you will never see a need to do more and be more but when you become selfless you will know that god you have blessed me but is this all i can be he's anointed me and i'm grateful to him but i continue to tell him lord if ever you are looking for someone to carry a greater level of grace for the nations you have helped me but i still am available I'm not available so that people will come and say Joshua Selma. No, no. If 10 people are sick and seven are healed, what if your relative is part of the three that are not healed? Imagine returning from a service. I heard you came for Koinonia. What happened? I'm sorry, we celebrated miracles, but I was not there. Because of those three, we will celebrate and then return back and say, Lord, there is still more. There is still more hear me perhaps last miracle service you came and you celebrated what God was doing in the lives of people healings and miracles and you went back and it didn't seem like anything happened now it's another opportunity but you must be very very discerning you must be very very discerning are we together now discern make up your mind that i will not be careless no i will be discerning you can be in the presence of god and it will be like genesis 28 the lord was in this place and i knew not this is holding my, my trouser again praise the lord are we together when it is time to pray you must pray from the depth of your heart lord i desire more power more grace you have called me into the ministry of kingdom wealth i make up my mind 
thank God for what you have given me but I've not yet been able to give a billion naira for the gospel I'm not there thank God you have made me a politician I thank you for my political career but I'm unable to serve to the degree that brings you glory in this position exalt me more so your desire is now sincere and God says for me let's go and while he's saying let's go many people are saying be careful if you rise we keep telling people be careful and the devil keeps lifting people who when they go there they force us to serve God wants to exalt people God wants to if you are not interested there are many others who are genuinely interested as for me and my house Lord everything that you can give me that will bring you glory my hands are opened to receive it and it is for your glory you are in ministry refuse inferior levels of the anointing thank God for it but it will only lead you to a level of struggle one headache per year no you are in business thank God going up and down tomorrow balloon success you before you finish celebrating you are in trouble again you have to trust God for grace to be consistent to enter into a Sabbath where you can become a blessing are we together yes I vowed a vow to God that I will never lead a people who are just spiritually sound I believe in influence influence is the ability to compel a territory to buy into your convictions based on the excellency of the results that come from your life influence is powerful we can make Jesus lifted and known through influence there are two tools that bring for kingdom advance one is evangelism enthrones christ in the heart of men the second is influence it institutionalizes god consciousness across a territory nobody will follow people without results you've heard me say that people love you but they love themselves too if you are not producing results nobody is going to waste his time and i cried to god i said lord don't send me with only a salmon the world that that needs you needs more than a salmon we need to see a demonstration of the power the grace of god ladies and gentlemen i want you to know three things number one jesus is lord number two he trained us well number three sit back and watch the wonder working power of god tonight as he heals as he delivers oh we dare to say it with every sense of confidence as touching the grace that has been given to us please rise up on your feet you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life is changed you will never be the same You will never be the same. You've touched this grace. Hallelujah. In one minute, let your expectations rise to heaven. Please go ahead. Jesus is here. Jesus is Lord. All over the nations, follow with hunger in your heart. Please lift your hands and pray. Everyone, everyone, lift your voice and pray. You are lifter. This is me, oh God. <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah genesis 21 from verse 1 and 2 the last prayer point and we'll pray and the lord visited joshua selman 
as he has said and the Lord did unto Joshua Selman as he has spoken the Bible says Sarah conceived you don't have to be a woman to conceive this kind of conception there are visions there are things you can carry your mind is a womb too and bear Abraham a son even in old age at the set time which the Lord God has spoken father as you have spoken do to me as you have spoken do to me tonight Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm seeing people laughing in the spirit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The power of God is going to come on those people. This is very strange. But I want you to carry them and bring them out. Like an outburst of holy laughter. There is a prophecy for them. Bring them out. This is a ministry of signs and wonders. There is nothing superstitious here. It is the mighty act of God in the midst of his people. Bring them. The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. Please bring them. An outburst of laughter is not something you can control. Hmm. God of heaven. These people are not, this is not just a, a, some carnal manifestation. God is establishing great victories in their lives. Hallelujah. Victoria. I'm hearing the name Victoria. Who is Victoria? I presume there may be many people with that name. But I want to speak to you now. Hold on, please. Don't, don't rumple yourself there. Where are you coming from? Huh? Mama, where are you coming from? I'm here in Abuja, but I come from Kaduna. From Kaduna? Yes. I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you here. Help them, please. Please don't come out carelessly. Don't come out carelessly. If you don't have any business coming out, please, there's order in the house of God. In as much as these are manifestations, don't worry. God is going to visit you. We're not wasting our time. I'm hearing the name Olushegun. Olushegun. This is a Yoruba name. Olushegun. You are wearing a short dress, a short handed dress. Is there someone like that? Olushegun. Who is that? What's your name? Olushegun. From where? From Okisei. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? I manage with one of my friends. I want to pray. You heard what I was teaching about lifting. This is what is going to happen to you. My friend, believe God. Oh, God is the lifter of men. Hallelujah. Mama, please lay your hand on. I hope you are not embarrassed. Can I talk to you? I want to rebuke BP. High blood pressure. High blood pressure. I want to rebuke it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, something is about to happen here. Now, please look at me. Everybody pay attention. Let me explain before it happens. You see, the apostolic and the prophetic call, if and when administered within the boundary of scripture, and with spiritual intelligence outside of superstition and rubbish and nonsense when it is administered within the boundary of scripture can work wonders and you have to be flexible 
when you are in an apostolic and a prophetic atmosphere in as much as scripture remains the basis of all that we do the dynamics of its operation the bible says there are diversities of gifts are we together now there are diversities even of operation now i confess to you the world is watching and i want to say something before i pray there are certain gifts and manifestations that god has put upon my life that I was almost tempted to shelve them for a while until I studied through scripture or in the life of day that have gone ahead of us so that we would not bring error in the body but I search 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 and I did not really find anyone I know operating this dimension of what what is about to happen and because of that I went to scripture and then I found out that there were things that were hidden that were not known in time past but that in these days god had revealed them who is apostles and prophets the lord would open my eyes and show me the map of a nation or the map of a city and i would see light will point a particular region and the moment i announce it all the people from that region the power of god begins to touch them this is a sign and a wonder when it started in my life i said what is the meaning of this are we together now and i'm saying that because this is what i'm seeing i'm now seeing that vision right now of a map and the light of god is touching kogi state this is what i'm seeing listen help them please you see what i'm saying kogi state kogi state bring them out kalatuski debra katushiata kebrantos kalibra katushiata kogi state God is bringing deliverance. There are foundations, there are altars that have tied the destinies of men down. In the name of Jesus, I come by the apostolic and the prophetic. Here at this miracle service, call this state, doesn't matter what local government, in the name of Jesus, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we arrest everything. Please don't come out on your own. Palisa Breketushi Atakara Sutiyash. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. These things are manifestations of the Spirit. It is to profit the believers. Hear me. Except God is not God. Everything that followed you here this night to tie your destiny, I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Help them, please. It must let you go now. It must let you go now. Covenant. It must let you go now. Yokes of ancestry. He must let you go now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, there is someone here in politics. The power of God is coming on you. I'm not, I'm not a politician. I don't play politics. I'm a man of God, but I love politicians. I love great people I don't run away from them we are sent to minister to them but there is a politician right now I'm talking the power of God is coming on the person just hold the person I want to prophesy if that is a woman just hold her I want to speak to her because I'm seeing her climb a ladder there is a strange political door that is about to open up for her listen this is the house of God it's impossible to come here and return back minister Dunsin already told us here yeah, I am that I am let me use please just rest you don't have to just take it easy with her I don't know who she is but just help her please that's all right we are hold that there please don't worry you don't have to just keep her there you don't have to lift her just keep her there madam we respect you we do not insult your pedigree in any way is just to speak over your life in the name of Jesus Christ I come I use her as a point of contact I don't know why God is speaking to those who are politicians if you are in politics here and you are being grounded by any reason I stand in the name of Jesus 
you see every state rises based on the king priest prophet formation the king priest prophet formation i declare in the name of jesus everyone here politically may my god lift you to the next level may my god lift you to the next level by the power that raised jesus from the dead Ene Ojo. Ene Ojo. Is there a name like that? Ojo. What's your name? Huh? Give please. Is the mic working? What's your name? From where? Kogi State. Stand here. I want to pray for you. You believe in Jesus? Where are you coming from? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you every door that has been closed over your family i'm speaking to you now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god may that door be opened now yeah. madam what do you do hold on please is this mic working please media help us i'm a politician you're a politician yes sir i hope you're not embarrassed yes, sir. Don't cry, madam. God did not bring you here to embarrass you. I'm speaking to you in the open, in the name of Jesus Christ. I, I, I don't know whether in the name of Jesus Christ, rise to a new level in your political career by the power that raised Christ from the dead. There is a kingmaker anointing. Listen to me. Kingmakers never become kings, but they enthrone kings and they remove kings. It's a grace. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord honor you. All of you who are standing here, my dear, shout Jesus as loud as you can. You. Jesus! 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 That's the name that is above every other name. I pray for all of you who are here. Everything holding you down, right now, I speak in Jesus' name. Let it let you go now. He must let you go by the power that raised Christ from the dead. The Lord wants to set a family free. I'm seeing that the men in that family keep dying. This is what I'm seeing. This is a pattern. All the men, something continues to happen to them. Remember that happened to the widow at Nain? Her husband died. Her only son died. Please return back to your seat rejoicing. Madam, can I pray for you? Yes. Hold on, please. Where are you coming from? Um, in Africa, I'm from Kogi. I'm Zana's mother. I mean, Zana from England, I write you. Oh, I see. God bless you, ma. You're welcome. This is Koinonia. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I'm seeing chains around your chest and your hand. In Jesus' name. Help her, please. Look at this. Out of her now. Give Jesus praise. It's over forever. Mama, God bless you. You return back. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sir, can I talk to you? This man on black wearing the nose mask. Please come. I hope you're not embarrassed, sir. Where are you coming from, sir? I want to pray for you. I'm seeing you try to climb a ladder and the ladder is breaking. I'm bringing you down. And the Lord is saying to prophesy to you so that you will rise. This is what I'm saying. You believe that? In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I decree and declare the power that lifts by the God of heaven. May that grace come upon you. May that grace come upon you. And you will rise in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to pray. The Bible says, even the lawful captives. Hold on. Do you know what it means to be a lawful captive? To be a lawful captive means there is a legitimate ground upon the, which the devil is taking advantage of you. But it says, even the lawful captive. 
this is strange there is a man of god you're in ministry you're going to run out now by the power of god just hold the person and bring the person here you're in ministry we're going to pray there will be a massive deliverance here right now deliverance means a separation between you and the obstacle that stands your way it doesn't have to be a spirit it can be a mountain once it's an obstacle it must go where is the i just want to speak over the i'm, I'm seeing a man of god that it takes more than sincere desire to do ministry it takes the power of the holy spirit father help him grant him the grace to do ministry with integrity Amen. and in the name of jesus look at me sir you love god and i love you but your spirit man is very weak in the name of jesus strength for you Amen. strength through prayer strength through the word strength through spiritual exercises receive an impartation now of fresh grace you will return back and the work will begin to speak in the name of jesus christ as powerful as jesus is he needed john to open his heavens even if you are a midwife there are times that you will not be the one to give birth you will need somebody to help you are we together now let's pray at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus inside here following online at the overflow when we shout this name, we let the nations know that he's the doer of these things. Now, the moment we shout that name, listen to me. There are chains and there are yokes that have tied people down. Some of you, as you are standing, you are representing families. At this shout, the fire from heaven will fall upon you. Please, I want you to bring them out. Bring your various overflows. Just bring them out. Those at the balcony, please be careful so that you don't just fall from there. Are we together now? Father... You anointed us and you call this a miracle service there are men and women who have been under yokes of bondage all kinds bondages of delay bondages of retrogression the ill speakings of people and the bible declares for this purpose was the son of god made manifest that he may destroy the works of the evil one therefore lord as we lift up this shout the healer the same way the walls of jericho fell let everything that does not name the name of christ give way are you ready now at the count of three one two three shout jesus I command every power. I command every force. Bring them out. Every yoke of ancestry holding God's people down in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. My God. Wherefore? God had so highly exalted him and given him a name, an office, above every other office, above thrones, above dominions. I declare every power holding you down, bring them out. That power is dislodged now. We are still praying. Please bring them out. Some of you are representing families. God is asking me to pray. The power of God is going to come upon you. But it's not just for yourself. It's for your entire family. Lord, every family represented here. Makatos Keba. That is under any kind of yoke. I declare by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. That yoke is broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Broken now. There are people here every time good things are about to manifest you keep walking but just when it's about to happen you may go back and have dreams and encounters and wake up and you will have bought precious things anyone here that experiences failure just at the edge of breakthrough may fire fall upon you now may fire fall upon you now May fire fall upon you now. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Who is like him? Lion and the lamb seated on the throne. Mountains bow down, every ocean roll to the Lord of Lords. We will praise Adonai from the rising of the sun. Hallelujah, Elijah. I'm hearing a name, Elijah. Elijah. We're going to pray for the sick shortly. Please stretch your hands towards me. I just saw something in the spirit. If you can, just stretch your hands towards me. I saw a vision and I'm seeing what looks like a bag being given to people. And the Lord is telling me, this is, I'm seeing written on it, good news. I'm seeing the number 71. Just stretch your hands towards me. Father, hold on please. From my left to my right, everyone who must receive this, inside, outside, right now, I stretch my hands. May that anointing come upon you. Help them please. In the name of Jesus, sounds of good news. Sounds of good things. Sounds of good, help them. Some of you news that you have been waiting for for many years many years suddenly suddenly god is bringing it by the power of the holy ghost suddenly what do you do you are elijah what do you do you are a pastor where you have your own church can i pray for you you are elijah hold on please don't Mr. Man, I'm seeing fire coming on you now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pastor, can I pray for you? Listen, we are co-laborers and God granted us grace to help one another. Are we together now? I stretch my hands towards you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord anoint you may your ministry step into profound dimensions of signs and wonders in the name of jesus christ mm. hallelujah my god please look up i'm seeing a very interesting vision the lord just opened my eyes and i saw a grave and i saw it open and I saw things, not people, things that are there coming out. I'm declaring to someone. This is not just restoration, this is resurrection. There are some of you, they've concluded things about you, about your family, about businesses. I call upon my God, everything that has been buried over your destiny, that you will not rise. Conclusions made, skapakatosketa, over your family. I call upon my God, who is your God? Talita Kumi, that which is dead, come back to life. Talita Kumi, that which is dead, come back to life. Help them, please. Every family, dying businesses, dying families, come back to life by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name, Zainab. Zainab, I pray for all of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the power that raised Christ from the dead rest upon you. My dear, this lady, shout Jesus as loud as you can. My friend, what do you do? Sales boy. You are a sales boy? Yes. Where? In Cuba. I'm selling gas. You are selling? Gas. 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 Uh, refilling of gas. 
Will you believe what I will tell you? Yes, sir. Go and register a company. Huh? God is taking you into oil and gas. Stand up. My friend, we are not entertainers, so we fear God. I will not stand here and rubbish myself in the presence of God's people. Huh? Go, please hold on. Please don't come out at random. Don't worry, God will minister to everyone. There's order in the house of God so that we don't um, But I want to pray for you. It will not happen now, but it's going to happen. Be faithful. I saw light just coming to the, the choir. I just saw light in the worship area. I don't know what it is, but I just saw a strong anointing. There are people there in the name of Jesus. There's a, the, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is coming. They are like a river. A river. There are people falling into that river. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Christ of God. That river. He will drink in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Please, who is sign up? Where are you coming from? But not say What do you do, man? Come. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I'm still you having something to do with the right man. This has to do with you. Lord is going to come on you. It's a business that is going to grant you great things. And it will lift you. Lift you in ways that will surprise you. I know you are currently in security, but God is granting you great. I stretch my hands and I declare in the name of Jesus, may that great be for you right now. Hold on. Hold on. I want to pray for you. Ah. Give up. Man. Can I talk to you? Hold on. You are married. is 13 years even if it is three months in the name of jesus barrenness dies now barrenness dies now barrenness dies now in the name of jesus christ madam i pray for you according to the time of life in the name that is above all names go and tell your husband that here at this miracle service the lord has brought visitation for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Help her, please. Praise the Lord. Why is she here? Your name is Zainab. Call you too? Huh? I'm a Muslim. You called me last week. You are a Muslim? Yes, it doesn't sir. matter. You are welcome. This is God's house. Huh? There's no prejudice. God bless you. Whether we love everyone, Buddhist, Muslim, whatever you are, you just come. One guarantee is that you will not go back the way you came. That's the deal. But you are welcome. You come the way you are. I want to pray for you, Zainab, in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bring a visitation for your family. A supernatural visitation. Everyone trusting God for a job. I just saw something now. Please believe. Hmm. You are trusting God for a job. Wherever your job is, in the name of Jesus Christ, may God take you there right now. I 
I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Some of you by this time next week, I stand by the God of my covenant and I declare by this time next week, may God surprise you. You will come and stand here and you will testify of the marvelous hand of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for the sick shortly. I'm hearing a name, Pius. Who is Pius? Pius. You are Pius. You are a worker here. You are a new security here. It's still the same thing. All this ministry doesn't whether you're a worker you know most times people have a cliche in churches that workers don't receive anything only other people get, no this once jesus shows up including me who is speaking everybody you will swim in that river and you receive are we together i want to pray for you in the name of jesus christ i declare by the power of the holy spirit no the pious i'm seeing is wearing white like me like this this is what you are wearing <laughs> you are surprised <laughs> this is the place of encounter This is the place of surrender. Sir, don't worry, I'll still pray for you. Ah, you are, we love our workers, you are faithful. How could I'm just trying to say that this is what's not the word, you understand? But it means that, listen, whether God gives you a prophetic word in your ears or not. The prophecy of scripture is valid. You can use the prophecy of scripture and prophesy to yourself. And it will happen the same way a prophet spoke to you. No matter how accurate what we say is, we still see in part. The word of God, scripture must be exalted above every gift and every prophetic word. This becomes your comfort. That even though we may not have the time to mention everybody's name and even if there is time we do not have the bible says though i speak with tongues of men and angels though i understand all visions and all of that we are limited but it's for you to believe sir i want to pray for you where are you coming from sir abuja here can i pray for you god is lifting people this is what i'm seeing god is lifting people God is showing me someone, you work in civil defense. It's time for your lifting. This is, this is civil defense. Civil defense. Now, Madam, you work in civil defense. I will pray for you, but is there anybody on the balcony that works in civil defense? This is what I'm seeing. This is a lady or not a man. Is there someone like that? Balcony, oh, find out, find out first. Where, where were you sitting? Come, come and stand. This is the place of encounter. Hallelujah. My dear, in the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care what is the issue that is on the table. According to the word of the Lord, if God could locate you, I declare, and I also pray for you, also civil defense, madam, I want to pray for you. Where are you from? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will come and stand, both of you. You will stand here before the people of God and you will testify of strange liftings. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Sir, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Help her, please. Daddy, I don't know why you are standing outside here, but I want to pray for you. We are going to pray for the sick. 
I'm going to pray for you. Is it husband and wife? Madam, I need to pray because I hope you're not embarrassed, sir. Can I talk to you? Ah, we have to pray. I believe in miracles. God is taking sickness. Sickness. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing many things. I'm seeing a thermometer go up and down, up and down, up and down. This is BP. Two people will start running in the overflow outside. Outside. Now, we may not have time to bring them out outside. I'm seeing the power of God. Outside, the overflow outside. Just bring them to the front of the projector screen. I want to pray for them. Because the Lord is taking away the yoke of delay over those families. This is what the Lord is showing me. Sir, may my God bless you. In the name of Jesus. And for you, sir, may my God, please stand up. You're a worker. What do you want God to do for you? Look at a wise man. You heard what he said? He said, I want to know him more. Is it not relationship that brought this privilege now? Don't you think relationship has other privileges too? The greatest prayer request is relationship. You can have a man's hand, but when you have his heart, you have access to everything. Are we together? And I truly pray that God will help you to know him more. The Holy Ghost that was given to us to help us know the Lord. But in addition to that, the fringe benefits of that relationship that is speaking your life in the name of Jesus Christ I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know why God is visiting the workers one of you ushers here the power of God is coming on you eh? you I know you are ushers you are doing your work but let God visit you first then you continue doing what you're doing I'm seeing the power of God on the ushers now we're going to I'm seeing a strong anointing. Sir, there is something the devil put on your throat. Sir, this is what I'm saying. I don't know you, sir. Let, let, let the wife talk. Madam, please talk to us. They say that it's cancer and it's going to operate it so that it's not talking again. I'm not, I'm not sure I got it. There's something that is on your throat that this is... This is what I'm saying. I'm, They were operating and he... I had an operation three weeks ago. They said they're going to do another one next week. In fact, by Saturday, they say it's cancer. I don't know. So I'm running around for God to help me. Every human agent in partnership with dark powers over your husband madam or over your wife sir or over your children or over your parents i bow my knees to the god of my covenant and i declare in the name of jesus that thing is destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now help them destroyed now please stand up let me tell you this you see one of the ways that God helps you to dispense the anointing is he plants compassion in you over the lives of people. This is somebody's father and grandfather. Now he's saying that, look, doctors are a miracle. They are instruments of God's mercy. Without them, we will not even live to even learn the ways of God. But look what is happening to this man now. We're about to pray for the sick shortly. I'm sure there's a reason why the Lord left him here. That he came together with our mother here and now they are, I don't know what kind of surgery they are going to do now but that he will never be able to speak again sir come again so that is either life or death don't worry madam you are in the right place
You're a man of God here, please listen to me. You see the reason why we must keep contending for the anointing. It's not enough to say I'm Apostle Joshua Selman, I am this. Our alignment, there are destinies tied to our obedience. There are destiny tied to our prayer, our fasting, our diligence. The miracle that happens to this man and this family can bring many to Jesus. So no matter what level you are in ministry, please let this thing plant a genuine hunger. All these celebrity things that destroy us, push it one side and settle with God. Carry genuine fire, ever increasing fire. Yesterday's oil may not solve today's challenges. You will need fresh fire for the season. And if you are not ready to stay with God, don't ask God to give you members. What will you be doing with them? It's evil to ask people to come and gather people everywhere and then waste their time, share the grace and go back. Please don't be offended. I'm not, I'm just sharing with you a passion. I'm looking at this man's situation. Daddy, we're going to pray for you. And I believe Jesus that he will do a miracle for you. I don't know what it is that he has put. And then God will heal you of BP. Because I saw a thermometer going up and coming down. Can we pray for the sick now? In the name of Jesus. Please, no, stand up, sir. God bless you. My people have prayed for you. You can go back to your seat. Let's pray for the sick now. It's important. You see, I know that we live in very challenging times. And the devil has complicated matters by bringing all kinds of sicknesses on people. We had the miracle service in Zaria. Um day before yesterday and I was touched and broken when a woman came who had showed me they, they were doing dialysis for her it's a family that is not well very well to do and then in the midst of it now I'm not a doctor but medical people will tell you here I don't know how much it costs to do dialysis but it's a very serious thing hallelujah but Jesus still heals and right now, please listen, we have to do it very fast because I know your prayer requests are here. By the way, if you are here to write it, please make sure that you do so quickly. But I'm going to minister to the sick right now. And when I pray for you, all the overflows outside, following online, maybe some of you are following from hospitals on a sick bed, death sentence, about to go. I want you to believe Jesus. Hallelujah. As soon as I pray for you, listen please. The power of God will come upon you. Already miracles have started happening. Now this is what will happen. As soon as the power of God touches you and I ask you to check yourself, I want you to run out here. Please, whether they are in overflow, one, two, three, down to the basement or outside, those online, you can register your testimony online. I want you to come out, use either this place. No, 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 you don't have to bring them out. I'm praying for them right from there. So whether you come out from here or here, once you are healed, then you bring them out. You don't have to bring the sick out. They'll crowd this place. I'm just going to pray for you. This is just because our father came out and stood here. Are we together? Now lay your hands very quickly, everyone. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. touched me the master touched me and oh what joy fills my soul something happened 
And now I know He touched me There will be a loud shout of a gentleman and a lady. The moment that shout happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. A gentleman and a lady. Now we're ready to pray. Please, I'd like you to believe with a loud amen as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God. The healing anointing is flowing here in the name of Jesus Christ. Every devil behind infirmities, you don't have to bring them out. Right now, miracles are happening. I command those devils to give way now. Give way now. Give way now. Now in the name of Jesus Christ, from the crown of your head, to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name migraine headaches be healed in Jesus name ulcers be healed in Jesus name all kinds of growths and lumps around the body I command them to disappear now. Bone conditions be healed now. Those on crutches, those on wheelchairs, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now and you try to stand up. You're on a crutch, leave the crutch and start walking. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Deaf ears, partial deafness, complete deafness, be healed now. Blind eyes, open now. All kinds of cancers and ulcers like our father here. Now I'm praying for you, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands to you. And then as a point of contact to everyone having any demonic death sentence in Jesus name be healed now be healed now the Lord is showing me people having severe abdominal problems all kinds of abdominal problems here the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ There's someone, what you have looks like what we call Parkinson's. I think I'm right. That thing that makes you to just shake, your body shakes. In the name of Jesus, I declare, may the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now. May the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a lady here. You don't have anything cancer, but your hair false is this is this has been a very demonic thing right now the power of god is touching you be healed now be healed now please don't don't you are punishing this man just keep him somewhere when he's healed he can stand up and come huh the man is trying to stand now don't be embarrassed i want to pray for you you don't have to come out the lord is showing me a woman you are not um what do you call it now you are not a nursing mother yet you are lactating now i hope i know what i'm saying praise the lord but this is what is happening in the name of jesus christ let there be a miracle for you now i don't know what the medical condition is but in jesus name we stop it now there's someone your left is this your left eye you don't see very well with it after this prayer check it right now a miracle is happening to you i'm feeling pains here literally at the left side of my uh what they call this your kneecap this is somebody's condition right now the power of god is touching you 
supernatural miracle right now supernatural miracle right now in the name of Jesus Christ back pains all kinds of back pains in the name of Jesus Christ be healed now the Lord is showing me at least eight people you have to take pills to sleep you can't lie down normally and sleep I think there's a medical condition there's a name for it you are, you are not able to lie down and sleep you must take a lot of drugs one of you the power of God is coming on you now that demonic thing we command it to live your life in Jesus name in the name of Jesus and then I'm seeing someone until now I think you have a problem with your shoulder I don't know what it is you cannot lift it as soon as I pray just lift it check yourself do what you cannot do you'll be surprised that the power of God has touched you right now supernatural miracle and then I'm seeing someone you can't walk like walk outside for a long time you become unusually tired you are not a very old person but then you walk no matter how even if you you rested the whole day once you walk out just for a few minutes you become extremely tired the power of God is touching you now you no know, you don't have to come out you check yourself when when it's time to take miracles we'll take them in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing multiple breast lumps the Lord is healing them right now any stranger in your body that has not been planted by God I command it to go out now <laughs> hallelujah ah, I'm seeing you've been feeling like you are pregnant but you are not pregnant and yet it looks like the symptoms of pregnancy is with you dear this is a demonic thing in the name of Jesus I don't know who that that kind of occurrence you have dreams and you see all these ugly spirits come to molest you and this thing you be, you feel as if you are pregnant physically but then you are not really pregnant in the name of Jesus anyone in fraternity with dark powers that they are taking advantage of you to spy upon your liberty I declare be released right now sugar diabetes be healed now hepatitis be healed now uh, the Lord is showing me someone is it that you fell down from a bed or you fell down from a building or something and your rib area is like you fell down right there and from that day till now there's been severe pain around your rib area but right now as i'm spraying the power of god is touching you be healed in the name of jesus now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus be healed now three things we're going to do at the same time number one all those check yourself now check yourself you find out there are people that jesus has healed inside outside i want you to run quickly you can come and stand here people are coming celebrate them or you stand here please come check yourself check yourself please make sure you check them there will be people here to ch i spotted dr bukola williams somewhere please you can help to just verify the people let's just have people come in god has healed you please come out and stand while that is happening please ushers pr you can help them please pass your prayer request to the last person at the aisle whether left or right and then they lift it up very quickly so that we'll have them together very quickly jesus is healing people koinonia are you celebrating miracles from all the overflows please make your way creator of the universe what can't you do what can't you do jesus creator of saints keep coming keep coming 
all the overflow just allow those who are healed to come you're the name You are able, pray the mighty God. You are able, Jesus. You are able, you are able, pray the mighty God. You are able, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's have a few of the, do we have the mics? Are they ready? Let's just have a few very quickly, please. Whilst that is happening, please do well. If you need a minute to quickly write your prayer request, please write it. They are bringing all of them to the altar here. We are going to be praying and let the God that answers by fire bring miracles to you. In the name of Jesus, ensure that the overflows, everyone has their prayer request. Those online, I'd like you to keep faith. We are going to pray and the power of God will touch you there. Yes, very quickly, please. She has had it for over a month now, but the pain is gone. It's gone. Ben, yes. any pain, any pain completely. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you. By the power of the Holy Ghost, that anointing comes on you. It perfects you in Jesus' name. Yes, please. You mentioned a knee calf challenge. Immediately you mentioned that the pain disappears. She How long have you had it, madam? A month. A month. Check yourself. Any pain? No. Completely gone. Give Jesus praise. Let's celebrate Jesus. Back yeah. pain too. Our mommy has had back pain. Our labs. Let us speak. Go ahead, ma. I've been having pain from my labs for over three months now. And right now. Ah. Ah. Look at this. Look at this. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Yes, sir. Pain. Uh, also, you gave a Hold word on, of please. Knowledge. Just a moment. Yes. So you gave a word of knowledge for the knee. The knee. The knee. How long? For over three months now. Check yourself. It's gone. Completely gone. Every other issue goes like that in the name of Jesus. Yes, please. So we have another knee here. The same, the same problem. Knee. Yeah. Check yourself. It's gone. Completely. It's gone. In the name of all of you. Three months. Yes. Three months. Are you seeing the coin? It looks like coincidences. Everything that is off balance in your life in Jesus' name, restoration comes for it. Yes, sir. 2016. 2016. Yes, sir. Your knee. Yes. And right now, run. He told me to do a surgery. Go ahead, run. Check yourself. Any pain? Any pain? Just a little, huh? Jump. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, never, never returns again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. You mentioned the case of someone that fell from the bed. This is it. She had had the pain in the leg, but the pain is gone. Oh, I'm now. seeing. Is, is that a bandage or something? Yes. Let her speak. When Straight to the point. Straight to the point. Okay, what, when... what happened? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry don't worry take your time uh-huh this evening when i came in i had so much pains i had to go to the medical but he kept telling me it was it has to take one month four weeks for me to get well and then i told him i was even this evening i had an engagement he said i should just keep i don't know if it's outside that i should just keep putting my leg like this and not press the leg so that it doesn't get okay what me. happened now but now i feel a lot better in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hands and i declare perfection perfection by the power of the holy spirit yes please someone with a pain around the the, the, the shoulder. shoulder yes it's gone healed now gone. check yourself completely my goodness in the name of jesus it never returns by the power of the holy spirit yes please another case of me can healed mama how long has it been uh since on the second of uh, this month okay I just came back from my mother's burial 
from the village, the kneecap started. And the same thing happened to my elder sister that I lost on the 13th of uh, January. She came back from the village and this same thing led to her death. Anybody that digs a pit for you, what happened to Haman, may it happen to them. The rod of the wicked, the Bible says, shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Mama, be healed completely perfected in Jesus' name. Yes, please, go ahead. This is of chest pain at the shoulder and the breast region. They are both healed. Completely. In the name of Jesus, a miracle for you. Yes, sir. Right. So, Apostle, she's an actress and she, she's having a shortness of breath. And you you are an actress. Yes. Uh, I'm an actress. I met a guy on a location grand. And after meeting the guy, after we left the location, got to my hotel room, I start feeling dizzy. And anytime I walk a little, I start feeling weak inside of me. So my pastor's wife gave me the clips, your, one of your clips to watch. And in my dream, you gave me sugar. So I, decided, I told my pastor's wife everything, and he asked me to come here. To from come Lagos. here? Yes, from Lagos, Lagos, you came. Yes. And right now, he's gone. Yes. Make sure you take a bottle of wine and go and thank your pastor's wife. May the Lord bless you. And if she's watching, the Lord bless you, ma. And the Lord honor you. I decree and declare not only is God bringing perfection, even in your career, you will thrive, go from glory to glory. In Jesus' name. Ah, there's a miracle here. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My God. Oh God, people who saw me coming in, in fact, I had to beg the security men to help me park very close to the gate because I can't work with this without this. I have How so long? much pain. How long has it been? Last year, May. Okay. And the doctor told me that I needed total hip replacement. I've been having severe pains, like my hip was caught. But while you told uh, the people who were laughing in the spirit to come out, I stood up and immediately I just felt the Walk. pain. Walk. Completely gone. Pain. Hmm. Are you celebrating miracles? Look at this. In the name of Jesus, we declare perfection. It never returns by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Give Jesus praise. So we have cases of ulcer being healed, peptic ulcer. So how many years? Peptic ulcer for more than two years. And the pain? Nine Mine is six years. Six years. In the name of Jesus, for all of you who, who have suffered ulcer, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, this healing is, is completely perfected. It will never return back again. In Jesus' name I pray. 24 years. 24 years. Place your hand on your chest. I'm touched just by that. Lord, may it never return. A miracle for you. There's a miracle in this room. With my name There's a breakthrough in this room With my name Healing for you In the name of Jesus Amen. Yes sir My God there are so many miracles Let's see what we can do Yes please Knee, knee. Yeah. Now all of you who have knee issues Just place your hand there Let me just seal your miracle By the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, either here or here, all of you together, I declare healing for you, perfection in Jesus' name. Yes, Benga, go ahead. He came here very, very sick. He said he had also pain. So he went to the medicals. They yes. gave him drugs, but he was still feeling it. But immediately you mentioned I think it we should celebrate our doctors. They are doing an amazing work at the medical session. Very intelligent, skilled people giving their heart and their all to the lord the lord bless you in jesus name the pains are gone. completely the pains are gone yes sir. in the name of jesus it never returns to you by the power of the holy spirit yes please you mentioned the case but now she's no longer feeling it how long has this been i've been having it for a very long time but ever since i started praying for my sister because she has a kidney yes sickle cell gall bladder stone so ever since i started praying for her i don't know whether they were just attacking me so anytime I take in that hotness, we just remove the pregnancy. So and sometimes I can't even my cloth just for my cloth to stay, relax on my body. I can't. I must open like because it's too hot that I need to get something cold to touch it. 
But immediately you talked about healing. So the, the whole thing now started coming down. It's not as bad as, as it used to be. So right now, I'm not feeling that hotness Come. in my womb. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, don't cry. This is your sister's photo. Job 42 verse 10. And the Lord turned again the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friend. I pray in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Lay your hands there and watch a miracle happen for you right now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree and declare for you and for your sister, let there be a miracle right now. And whatever has been responsible for these miscarriages, we curse it by the God of heaven. Go and return back a joyful mother of children. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Completely. Check yourselves. All of you with shoulder issues, in Jesus' name, we may just take two, two, and then I'll pray. I know that there are so many people. Now, listen, every time you're unable to testify here real time, you can always register your testimony and then let us know. Um, by the way, week all week long, the media lines are open. You can always register your testimony. And then I know that we have a lot of people and sometimes we are constrained by time. But it is good for God's people to know that God is at work in your life. Feel secured, feel safe to share your testimonies. It doesn't have to be a healing miracle in any area at all. Praise the name of the Lord. We'll see how God will grant us grace to dedicate a little more time. Testimonies are powerful. They are attestations of the love, the power, the grace of God. And we don't downplay them at all. Praise the name of the Lord. So let's take two, maybe two each. And then we'll just pray generally for the rest. Yes, ma'am. Ah, let her speak. Okay, I had a lump on my shoulder here. Wow. And it was really conspicuous. And it, was, it just kept growing. But it has shrunk completely. Give Jesus praise. <laughs> Creative miracles by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we declare every growth it leaves never to return. In Jesus' name, I pray. Give Jesus praise. The last person, please. Back pain is here. The pains are gone. Back pain. Back pain. Check yourself, my dear. Any pain? Any pain? Completely gone. In Jesus' name, perfection for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Apostle. You gave a word of knowledge about someone that is lactating. Wow. How long has this been? Since 2019. 2019? Yes. And I this was... has happened to you? Yes, sir. And what happened to you now? I went to the bathroom. You went check. out to check yourself? Yes, I went It's to... gone. Come on, Koinonia. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare perfection for your body in Jesus' name. Yes, please. So, sir, this is, she's been healed, her ankle, and she's had her eyes for two years. She couldn't see. Right now, she can actually see. Then mama back in. Several testimonies, Apostle. Oh Hold and on. Every... I'm interested in this too. Our time is gone, but can I pray for you, madam? How long has this been? It started since March this year. Since March. Check yourself now. Any pain? Completely gone. I decree and declare it never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Yes, madam? Since two years now, I have not been seen very well. Every what couldn't you see? Everything. I always have severe pains in my eyes. Before I would sleep, I would always apply this uh, eye drop every night, every day, before going to bed. But today, I came with the severe pains, seriously. But after your prayers, everything just disappeared. I can't feel any pains anymore. Hallelujah. And I can see very well. You now. can see clearly. Very well. Place your hands on your eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree, spiritually and physically, may you truly begin to see. In the name of Jesus, perfection for your vision. Now, I pray for all of you. I'm sure that many of you, thank you, by the way, for the courage to come intending to testify. For constraint of time, we may not be able to testify now, but I pray for you. Every miracle you have received, and those at the overflow, those following from whatever nation, in Jesus' name it remains so, it remains permanent, never to return again. We declare that you are blessed now, you are blessed forever. In Jesus' name I pray. Please rise up on your feet, stretch your hands here, we're about to pray. This is a very prophetic hour right now. 
our time is gone but please be patient this is a very critical part of the miracle service where we get to pray over the requests just stretch your hands towards me as i agree we have a covenant of answered prayers with the lord if there are still more please bring it quickly so that we have it here please begin to pray and decree and declare these egyptians i see today i see them no more forever please make sure you pray god of vengeance has fight my battle for me god of miracles has won my battles for me i'm a winner man i'm a winner man he has won my battle for me i'm a winner man i'm a winner man he has won my God of vengeance, God of vengeance has won my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, I'm a winner man. Please stretch your hands in one minute and let's pray. Father, God of heaven, please pray. You are receiving by faith. We are crying to the God of just pray In the name of Jesus why do we pray over our requests because the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 to be anxious for nothing it says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says to make our request known let your request be made known this is the most accurate representation of our desires our frustrations our constraints no matter how we prophesy we are not able to reach as many people but this is everyone's genuine desire nobody reads it this is between you and your maker but i stand in the name of jesus by the privilege of priesthood and i declare over this request that these egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever
every shame and every disappointment written here represented here by the power that raised christ from the dead it is turned to joy every closed door that is responsible for this request here we command those doors to be open now father i pray and call upon you who is the god of all flesh who has sent us standing in the midst of your people i decree and declare lord let every one of these prayer requests be turned to testimonies in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ and for those who are not here but you wrote for them may the angel of the lord's presence right from this place go to their homes their nations and bring strange miracles for them please lift your hands to receive the blessing father i want you to believe right now the anointing you need for the results that your destiny needs to command i pray for you you don't have to bring those under the anointing outside now in the name of jesus whether in ministry whether in politics in business there are parliamentarians here there are people from everywhere there are business people veterans in business civil service i pray the unction required for the next level of your results i stand here and i declare let it come upon you now <laughs> that before miracle service before miracle service june i decree and declare you will check all these requests and you will not find any left and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon whoever must send for you in this season i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead may the book of remembrance be opened now if there's anyone here that the spirit of death is trailing or trailing your family members whether death through the air by sea by land in the name of jesus we speak to the spirit of death you stay clear of them now <laughs> hallelujah every long-standing issue that has refused to answer to the name of the lord i agree with you in the name of jesus christ let it be answered tonight <laughs> hallelujah whatever has failed in your hands in the name of jesus go back and succeed whatever has refused to walk in your hands i declare go back and succeed for those of you in ministry fresh fire for the new season those of you in business fresh connections and illumination those in politics parliamentarians supernatural grace in the name of jesus and then i pray for your spiritual life there is always an emphasis on our relationship with Jesus Christ, our passion and our hunger. I'm going to make the altar call shortly, but let me pray for your spiritual life. You go up today, you are down tomorrow. You pray today, then you ignore the prayer altar. You study today, then you ignore it. The grace for consistency. Take that grace now. Grace for prayer, fasting, word study, worship. May that grace rest upon you now. Can we pray over favor? Hmm. Father, upon your people, the proof of favor is not just money. The proof of favor is loyalty to the hearts of men. I pray for you. Everybody who must consider you, 
in the name that is above all names find favor with them find favor with systems find favor with structures find favor with government find favor with captains of industry find favor with gatekeepers in the name of jesus christ and everything you came with tonight as a point of contact i declare by the spirit of the living god whether it's a document your credentials whatever it is i release my faith and i agree with you even as you have lifted it up you remain lifted in the name of jesus christ shame and reproach we call it by name and we banish it from your life in the name of jesus christ very quickly there are people here who are saying apostle our time is gone but we need jesus please if you can i know that we've been standing for a long time let's minimize movement let's just honor these ones the overflow outside those in right to the basement and those within this auditorium there are people saying apostle haven't seen what the lord has done in this place i know that my relationship with jesus needs to be mended i need to start a relationship or i need to rededicate my life we have just two minutes for you aside from those outside those inside and then the overflows outside there please i want you to quickly take a step of faith and come and stand here you want to give your heart to jesus you want to rededicate your life i want you to leave your seat right now let's celebrate them someone has to someone that courage to come and stand here Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Keep coming, quickly. My soul says yes, says yes, says yes. My soul says yes, says yes. Keep standing. One minute, please, quickly, come and join them. My soul says yes, says yes, says yes. My soul says yes, says yes to your will. I salute every one of you for the courage to come to Jesus. The Bible says, as many who will come, please join them quickly. If you're joining them please those coming from outside allow them to come very quickly so that they join the bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away lift your right hand to jesus and say it convincingly let it also be from the depth of your heart say lord jesus say it again say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god tonight i declare that Jesus is my Savior I declare that Jesus is my Lord I declare that Jesus is my King I receive forgiveness of sin I receive the life of God I declare that I go forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted father thank you for this once they have come in response to your love and i commend them to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit i declare that you are partakers of the life of god you are benefactors of the gift of righteousness the abundance of grace and you begin to reign from tonight forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ the lord bless you the lord honor you in jesus name now very quickly i want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands with the placard Please follow them very quickly. Let's celebrate them, Koinonia. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, from next week, Sunday, we're going to start a very powerful series. I remain committed by the grace of God to helping us understand the kingdom and to receive miracles. It's going to last the next two months. And I want us to trust God for grace. Please receive the grace it takes to demonstrate the reality of the things that we've heard have you been blessed tonight please rise up on your feet father in the name of Jesus we declare that this week beginning we call it a week of victory in the name of Jesus Christ 
everyone who came here today you return next week a sign and a wonder in the name of jesus christ the bible says as they went they saw the miracles the 10 lepers now i declare that as you go everything you have not seen here you will see it before you get home and you'll see it before you return here next week the lord bless you the lord honor you in jesus name when we share the grace do well to say hello to someone by your left and right before you leave let's share the grace the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit let it rest and abide with us now and forevermore amen god bless you